Greetings super friends, Jonathan Levy, and stick around because in this video, I'm gonna be talking about one of the most important, not only productivity tricks, but productivity mindset shifts that you can make to permanently give you back hours and hours every single week. Hey there, super friends, Jonathan Levy. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you all about something I see so many people doing, and regardless of age, regardless of technical aptitude, and it is costing them hours and hours of their life. And it's a mindset shift that I think everyone can make that is going to give them back hours of their lives and take off so much unnecessary busy work. Now, I'm talking about investing in your understanding of and use of technological tools. Now, we all have so much technology at our fingertips every single day, whether it's our computers, whether it's online services that can automate things for us, whether it's our phones, our iPads, our smart homes, there are so many pieces of technology in our lives that can do so much for us. And so it really, really troubles me when I see people using these tools incorrectly or failing to use them to the full extent which they could. Now, I'll give you some small examples. There are shortcuts on your computer, whether it's keyboard shortcuts, whether it's automation shortcuts, whether it's gestures that you can configure. There are new features coming out every single week just a few weeks ago at the time of this recording, you know, Apple comes out with a new iOS that has all kinds of new features. And in my mind, I know that many, many people, and not just people who didn't grow up with this technology, but many, many people are not going to use these new features. Now, a lot of people justify this by saying, well, you know, I'm not technological or I, I don't like technology that much or I didn't grow up with this technology or I'm not a programmer, I'm not a software developer. But the fact of the matter is, if you had a tool such as a drill and you paid for all the features of that drill and you didn't use it, or if you purchased a hammer and you were swinging the hammer with the wrong end out first, that would be a silly way to under leverage the tool and not get the results. So you're paying for these tools, you know, you're buying that new iPhone, you're buying a new computer, even if it's not the latest, greatest model, you are paying for this technology and it is well worth your time to invest. Now, one thing that I come up against a lot and I teach a course about this, Become a Speed Demon, where I literally take you through all the tools and tips and techniques that I use to automate my life so I can run multiple businesses and still have time for friends, family, exercise, etc., etc., etc. And one of the mindset issues that I come up with the most or come up against the most is people saying, well, I don't have time. And to me, that's like that caveman graphic. Maybe we can put it up on the screen where, you know, someone is offering the caveman a wheel and they go, ah, we don't have time. We don't have time to learn how to use it. And it's a ridiculous thing. So, so many people say, well, you know, Jonathan, it, it'll take me two, three hours to sit down and learn about these new features. For example, Apple does a new keynote every year introducing all the new features of their iPhone. Uh, and yeah, it's an hour and a half, but in that hour and a half of sitting and maybe another hour, you're investing two and a half hours, but you have to look at, at it as an investment because with that two and a half hour investment, you can gain back hours and hours every week or every month. It's, it's an outpaced amount of return on investment. I'll give you an example. There is a, a process that I have to do every time I make a purchase for my business. And maybe this is the same for you, whether you're an employee or an entrepreneur, you buy something, you have to upload the receipt, right? Well, that process used to take about 10 steps. I would take a picture, I would convert the picture to a PDF manually, I'd have to rename it, then I'd have to find the right folder in Google Drive and upload it. And now I just say to my phone, hey Siri, drive upload. She automatically takes a picture. She asks me for the name. I just say, okay, this is uh, new pens for the office. And then she uploads it to the current correct Google Drive folder. It takes me 10 seconds instead of two to three minutes. Now I do that once or twice a day. So in a week, I gained back that hour that I invested in learning how to use that tool on the iPhone. And that's just one very, very small thing. I mean, in my business, we automate over 20,000 tasks a month through a tool called Zapier, which saves me 
tens of thousands of dollars. I mean, we operate on a staff that's probably half or a third of what it would be if I didn't know how to use these technological tools to automate so much busy work. Not to mention all of the mental energy that I save by not having to deal with little things like marking something in an accounting system uh, or refiling something on my computer. I mean, how many of you have these computers, uh, desktops and downloads folders and everything that are so crowded you can't even find the stuff that you need to find? Um, not to mention the stress that it's causing you. Well, there are tools that can automatically file your files for you and keep your computer organized. There are tools that can automatically check things and alert you of things. There are tools that can control your thermostat in your house. I mean, there's so much incredible technology out there that people are building to make your life simpler. And I think it's just an incredible shame and waste to not use that technology and not invest in your understanding of it. Now, another thing, is resting on your laurels, right? I've been using a lot of the automation software that I use and a lot of the tools and tips and tricks for 15 to 20 years. And yet sometimes, yesterday I spent half a day investigating a new software because I know that there are improvements happening all the time. And yeah, half a day is a lot of time. I value my time a lot. But if I can invest half a day and that can cut a minute or two minutes off of a workflow that I do 20 times a day, well, that's 20 minutes a day to 40 minutes a day. In a week, I've made up my half a day. So I wanna encourage you all to look at this as an investment, the same way that you don't say to yourself, well, yeah, okay, I could go to the gym, but then I'm wasting an hour every single day. You look at it as an investment of your time and that investment pays dividends. And the same is true of learning how to use your technology and this, I. I'm using the term technology very broadly. This could mean, you know, if you use Microsoft Word a lot, go in and learn about the different features that can help you format your documents better. If you use, you know, Google Sheets a lot, go in and learn how to use the different formulas that could save you from having to do manual work. I mean, some of these things, I've seen people do crazy stuff with spreadsheets, crazy, not in a good way, where, you know, they'll manually calculate 20 different things in a row and then I'll come by, look over their shoulder and go, hey, you know there's a function that could have done that for you in 30 seconds. How long have you been spending on this? Oh, only three or four hours. It's like, do the Google searches and learn. And, and one thing that I want to impart upon you, one mental tool or model, is always ask yourself when you have something that's maybe not creative work, because I'm not talking here about creative work. I'm talking about humdrum work, I'm talking about admin, I'm talking about you know, little things like searching for files on your computer, stupid stuff that the human brain is, is not properly, you know, it's a waste of the human brain to do these things. I always ask myself, how can I not do this? How can I get a computer or a machine or a tool or a software or a workflow to do this for me so that I don't have to do it? And taking that one step and Google searching and learning and, you know, at first it's hard and at first you get frustrated because you don't know all the tools that are available to you. But the mindset shift that I want to impart upon you is invest in your knowledge of these technological tools because it really is, I mean, if, if you were to compare, you know, a war fought with bows and arrows on one side and a war fought with thermonuclear weapons on the other, if you want to remain competitive in today's world, you are at such a disadvantage if you are not investing in your technological skills. And again, that could mean learning how to use your iPhone or Android phone better. It could mean learning how to automate things with tools like Zapier or IFTTT. It could mean learning different shortcuts and functions in Excel, or it could mean you know, figuring out how to automate things in your smart home so you don't have to spend that five minutes every single night closing all the blinds and turning off all the lights and locking the door and little things that can save you so much time and mental energy. So that's what I wanted to share with all of you. I encourage you all to uh, check out our Speed Demon program that we offer. It's currently not available for enrollment, but you can enroll in the waiting list and we'll hopefully be opening it soon. And I'd love to hear below, what are some of the technological things that you could stand to learn better? Things that you know there are ways for you to get more value out of them. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear, and I would love for you to share some of your favorite technological tools and tips and tricks that save you minutes, hours, or days of time. Thanks for watching. Take care.